can be. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> 11 out of 5 out of 3. Entropy in, a statist, uh, in statistical thermodynamics. As we see from equation 11.15, number of ensembles arrangements omega for. Here. That was 15. Yeah. Uh, the number of ensemble arrangements omega for an ensemble made of just 20 members is 1.75 billion. In statistical mechanics, we usually deal with systems that have large numbers of members. For example, just one mole of gas will contain NA equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd members. This do leads to do you guys want to figure out how much that would be? Like, Let's figure it out. Just over four. It will be insanity. Okay, sorry, continue. This leads to a very, very large number. I should have put another very in there. Okay, very, very, very large number of ensemble arrangements or multiplicities. Here, mathematics comes to our aid. So can you, can you guess what we do when we have very, very, very large numbers? You pretend like you're No, 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 we don't pretend that we're not. I do. Well, <laughs> what do you do when you have a very, very large change and you want to put it on a, on a scale or exponentials? Right? Log. So logs will actually be very useful in this case. So we're going to build a log cabin. We are building a log cabin, yes. Mm -hmm. In mathematics, we can make large numbers tangible by taking the logarithm. So in order to make multiplicity tangible, we do not deal with omega, but rather deal with the logarithm of our multiplicity. And say that the entropy of the ensemble is some function of the logarithm of omega, Develop, develop the function functional relationship that leads to results that agree with experiments. Okay, so can we read this all together? This just these four lines again. In mathematics. In mathematics, we can make large numbers, numbers tangible by taking the logarithm. So, so in order to make multiplicity tangible, we do not deal with omega, but rather deal with the logarithm of our multiplicity and say that the entropy of the ensemble is some function of the logarithm of omega and develop the functional relationship that leads to the results and agree with the experiments of two voices. That's okay. So, and you continue. Austrian physicist named Ludwig uh, Boltzmann first pointed. Do you guys remember Boltzmann? We, we've dealt with Boltzmann quite a bit. You've heard the word Boltzmann? Boltzmann for, uh, first pointed out the relationship between entropy and probability in 1877 CE that leads to success. Uh, it is now called the Boltzmann entropy equation, mathematically given as S equals K times the natural log of omega. Fascinating. This K is the same KB that you use in quantum mechanics. <clears throat> it's the same K that is used in that we were using before. You know the KT? It's the same K that you use for your chemistry. It's the same one and it works. It's so fascinating how it keeps popping up in so many different places. Like K is a constant. K is a constant. It's the Boltzmann constant. It shows up in your ultraviolet catastrophe. It shows up in quantum mechanics. It shows up in black body radiation. It shows up in entropy. It's the same constant. There's so many links between them. And it works. That's that's what's so cool about it. How did these geniuses come up with these random looking numbers? Like why is it 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23? Why? Does it mean an equation? And it makes these equations work in so many different fields. When we were talking about chemical potential, it's still e to the minus mu over kt, same k. It works in here, it works there, it also works in chemistry, same k. It, it's crazy and amazing. Where S is the entropy of the entire ensemble, k is the constant of the proportionality called the Boltzmann constant, numerically uh, equal to 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd joules per Calvin. Calvin. 
and omega is the multiplicity associated with the configuration whose entropy S we wish to calculate. Note, omega is the multiplicity associated with the configuration whose entropy we wish to calculate. Anyone. Molecules, atoms, information, coins, Pick an ensemble, number of planets in the in, in the universe, the number of molecules in the atmosphere, the number of gas molecules that you have, the number the chemical reaction that you might be looking at. Number of resistors. Number of resistors in those boxes. If you want to study the multiplicity, it's exactly the same. The entropy equation does not change. Think about that for a second. And there's like what three symbols in here? I love simple math. <laughs> so cool. Okay, continue. Another important factor to remember is that equation eleven point seventeen, one we just covered, is a fundamental postulate of statistical mechanics, and as such, there is no way to prove it. We guess it is. Uh, there is no way to prove it. <laughs> we guess it to be true and then test the consequences with experiments. The rest of the steps are mathematical. In this scenario, the ensemble of members have to be isolated from their surroundings, which implies at equilibrium, the total entropy of the system must be a maximum with respect to all possible variations within the ensemble. From these arguments, we can reach the only possible assumption, which is... Can we all read this together? The, pre the preferred distribution of ensemble members is the one that maximizes the entropy of the entire ensemble. Keep that in mind. 